Hi, it's me, Streaky. Today I'm going to show you how to get a track sounding super pop in just two settings. Uh, that sounds unbelievable, and yes it is, and it's not for every single track, but for some it works, so it's always worth a try. It's a really quick go-to setting. So let's jump into the computer and get started. I've got this track, uh, you'll probably know it from other videos if you've watched. It's uh, Always Been a Dreamer by Stefan Carlin. It's a kind of classic poppy song. So you probably know that already, but let me show you the settings that we're going to use. So I've pulled up the FabFilter Pro Q3 to show you this. The reason why I do this is because it's a very visual EQ, but you can do this trick on any other EQ. Um, just use the same settings and you'll just get different flavors. All the EQing and compression stuff that I show you on this channel can be used on any EQ or compressor. Just, yeah, like I say, use the same settings, the same principles, and you should get a slightly different flavored result. First thing to do on this, we're gonna do a high pass or a low cut, whichever way you prefer to, to call it. And uh, we're gonna do this at 18. Let's just get this out so I can see what's going on. So it's there. I wanna do this at about 25 hertz. That's in the low end. So let's do that at 24 there. Just put this back to uh, six on the top so we can actually see the curve working. You can see it's basically going to be cutting anything below around 15 hertz, so and up. So we're really just getting rid of the waffle. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same at the top. So that will be a um, high pass, a uh, low pass, should I say, sorry, always get these wrong. And uh, let's just put that wide so I can see what's going on. Okay, we're gonna do that about 16, 16K. So we'll put that back to uh, three. But what we're also going to do, we're just going to lift them. You can see I've got this setting quite high so that I, I'm not going to push it too far, but I'm just going to do push it up a dB at that end and half a dB at that end. I mean, half a dB at the top, half a dB at the bottom. And then we're just going to listen to it before and after. And then take your time listening to this. But what it does, it just really starts to focus in the mids because it's getting rid of any any kind of super highs and any super lows. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that is going to not make something sound as present. It's not going to make something sound as slick, as professional as it can be. So some of the times it's nice to cut those and um, some of the times it's not, but it's definitely worth having a little try sometimes. So let's listen to before and after the preview and then you'll be able to um, see what you think and let me know in the comments. So there you have it. it. If you listen back to that again and you listen to the vocals, that's where you'll really be able to pick it up on your ears if you didn't get it the first time. So rewind that, listen to it again, in and out, and give it a try yourself. I think the best way is always to take the tip and the settings that I'm showing you here, try it out on your speakers, on your headphones, in the area that you know what sounds great, and then that way you'll be able to hear it for yourself, adjust it however you want to adjust it to your ear and see what you think. I'd love to know in the comments. 